Well, hello guys, it's Marigo again here, and uh, today uh, I'm bringing to you the next installment of the Arcade Gamer um, sort of series thing, and we're doing Alan Wake's American Nightmare, uh, a game which I'm not too sure whether to be fond of or scared of, because it looks like it's going to be quite an exciting game, and uh, obviously this is the uh, sequel to uh, one that was very high selling on the Xbox Live Marketplace. But at the same time, I've also been told that uh, it's uh, basically a horror game or one of them thrillers, and it's also called American Nightmare. So apparently, all I have is things like a torch, and I have to go into darkness and fight evil creatures. And I'll be the first one to say right now that I'm a bit of a wuss. But, um, yeah, let's jump in. Now, this is only the demo, so uh, if I like it, I might do a uh, full let's play on it. And uh, that'll be quite good if I... Um, well, let's turn the brightness up. Uh, it'll be quite good if I do a full let's play on it, because, um, well, I'll be getting my new HD PVR soon, and also a new mic, so you won't have that sort of crackly sound. And, uh, yeah, so that'll be coming, I think it's next week, some point. So... Uh, that should do it. Let's just uh, jump in. The brighter the better. And uh, now we have a cutscene. Now, I didn't play, uh, after I have to mention I haven't played American. Well, no, I haven't played Alan Wake 1. But, um. I'm not sure whether I wanted to, because that one also seemed pretty creepy. But, what's this about? If something's gonna jump on the screen. I don't like horror films at all. Oh, this all looks too eerie. Oh. Oh, I thought he was dead. Is he dead? Please don't something jump on the screen. Hopelessly blurred. And nowhere has I can hear noises. Night springs. Night springs. Written by Alan Wake. Oh, is it meant to be like a TV show or something? Is it like set in a TV show? He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. I have to say these graphics are good. That actually, that's actually a real person, that's not graphics, that's, that's actually a film, sort of, darkness. weird sort of cutscene. His evil doppelganger. They're either, that's either real or very, very Mr. good. Scratch. Now that looks real to me. Damn it, I can't decide. Well, I'll be honest, I'm heavily confused about what the hell's going on here. I'll catch you eventually! Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Okay, then. Well, it has to be said, that was dramatic. I wonder if all the cutscenes in the game are like this, like they're sort of... Uh... Actual mini film or something. The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Okay, okay. Right. Use right stick to look around and oh dear, I don't like these controls already, I'll be quite honest. The way look, I can move like that. But that doesn't change any sort of field of view. But I can look. Uh, I don't sort of like games like this because it feels a bit clunky. But uh, right, pick up the flashlight. Where's the flashlight? Flashlight. Right, there we go. Flashlight. Pick up. Oh, pick up. There we go. Oh, so now where I look is where I. Sh oh, did I see why they've included that in there now. That's rather clever. Oh. Tiny bit scared, gonna admit, tiny bit scared. Press left trigger to boost your flashlight. A boost of flashlight beam burns away the darkness. Oh. Well, that sure is cool. But I bet it's one of them things where, oh, the flashlight will run out of battery and I have to walk around with a candle. It's like, I'm going to die now. Right, grab the gun. How did my gun end up over there? Oh, hello, first enemy. Boost your flashlight. Boost your flashlight burns away the darkness. Okay. And fire that pistol. Yes. Be like that again, huh? What the hell? Thank you. 
Ah, are all these enemies darkness or are they? Maybe not. Do I aim for the head? Aim for the head. Aim for the head. God, I have no crosshairs. This is awkward. I don't reload. Leave the canyon. Ah, X. At least X is common. Right. In I have no life, clue what the hell's going on here. Man was a rider. He still practices. Oh, a rocking horse. Forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here. Have why does that? Why does the rocking horse instantly game. make this more creepy than it already was? Pick up manuscript. Okie dokie. For insight into the story. Okay, I should read that. Oh, actually, wait. Maybe hey, not. Is it, it going to be long? And I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. Uh, a short story here, an article there. Ah, uh, it's but reading. I spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. Blah, blah, blah. It wasn't wrote a great American TV show. novel of my fantasies, but it taught me wrote discipline. Wrote a novel about his fantasies, taught me discipline and crap, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to be a writer. Skip. There we go. Ah, these menus are confusing. Right, where are we going? Let's go somewhere. Leave the canyon. I've done that. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses no, that motel. the solution to his predicament begins there. Ah, jumping is A. You could at least tell me the you could at least tell me the controls game somewhere before you. Within the earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. Oh, the joy. Man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he This game is too heavily cutscene driven, I've decided, because I'm walking about four steps and then turning into a cutscene, so this is annoying me, but do I explore? Yeah, I'm gonna run away from these people valiantly. Actually, I'm gonna jump like a pillock. Uh, brightly lit areas can provide a safe haven from enemies. Okay. If I could sprint, I'd be sprinting right now. There we go. What was that? Stay here now. Are, they, are they near me? Crap, looks like they're going to be. Uh, hide in the motel. The safe haven formed by a bright light heals you. Ha! Ah. Come at, come at me, darkness. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I didn't think, think, think you could do anything. Oh god, the light's gone. I had not noticed that. Unlocked weapon crates by finding hidden manuscript radios and blast your enemies with serious firepower. Okay, unlock the SMG. Oh, what? I need three manuscript pages. Why do I Why do I need pieces of paper to help me unlock these things? Oh, achievement available. You just progressed far enough in the game to reward an achievement, blah, blah, oh. I don't care. Investigate the garage. Or garage, because this is an American game. Would this be the garage? Hello, old fellow. Old fellow, wait, you're a woman. Are you a woman? Yes, you are a woman. Hey, it's you. Oh, it's you as well. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think nope, I don't remember you. I don't think I've ever met you. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I did find a page. Why has he got a nervous twitch? He keeps on moving his neck as if he's got some sort of issues. Or is he just afraid of women or something? Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys. Why does she keep asking me questions? Why are there so many cutscenes? Really weird about them. I'm gonna have to mark this down purely because of the amount of cutscenes in this game. This is I wanted to get if this was meant to be a sort of horror sort of thrilling game or something, it's not because well, for a start, um, Just yeah. To be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. This is this is dull for me. I'm I'm this probably lulling me into a false sense of security where I'm gonna die. But at the moment, this Alan Wake thing, although it looks good, they're trying to do it. It doesn't seem fun. So yes. Right, where we gotta go now? Find the three items for rewriting reality. Okay. Oh, what's that? No. Uh, switch pistol for a nail. N Do I want a nail gun or what? Is this nail gun gonna be good? Well, it's automatic. Uh, let's go. Let's go with the nail gun. It'll be pretty cool. It's the one off the advert. 